Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another edition of On the Range, and today I'm in the A10C Warthog again to look at a technique we can use to get a little bit more accuracy out of our GBE 38 JM deliveries using laser ranging out of our targeting pod. Now, the GBU-38 JDAM is a GPS-guided munition that's going to guide on a specific point set by the aircraft's avionics. Now, the technique that I've sort of fallen in love with lately is to create a mark point at the location I want the bomb to impact. There are other ways to do it, but this is what I've been going with lately. And depending on the technique you use, especially using the targeting pod at low level like I am right now, it can be easy to be a little bit deceived about where the mark point is actually being created. And that's why I'm going to use this laser rangefinder to tweak up that location here. So let me begin by giving a demonstration of what I'm talking about there, about sometimes the point that you designate being a little bit deceptive and maybe not being exactly where you wanted. And let me go around the cockpit and just make sure that I'm all set up here. I have my master arm switch set to arm. I have the laser arm switch set to arm. That means that my laser is now active if I command it to fire. I'm going to select my GBA-38s. And I have four of them available. I'm just going to pick off one on this pass. And the turret I'm going to be using is one of these vehicles. Let me click my pod and we go to a narrow field of view. Zoom in. So what I'm going to do is create a mark point right here. And then have the bomb guide on that point. So I have that vehicle centered up. If I create the mark point and that's TMS right short, right now, let's see where that actually is. And now with that mark point created, to get the bomb to guide on a mark point, I need to come down here to the CDU and select mark on the steer point dial. Now I have mark alpha as my currently selected steer point. And you can see right here on the HUD that the steer point is the current sensor point of interest. And I'll have another uh, video link to the video description that goes over sensor of interest and sensor point of interest, if that doesn't make sense to you. But suffice to say that point that we created is where this JDAM is going to guide on. I'm going to take it out of autopilot and I'm going to climb a little bit and be back once I'm set up and about to release this weapon. Okay, so now approaching release. Now, I haven't done anything to the targeting pod. You can already see that the pod is looking at a point other than what I thought I was looking. I thought it was like right on the vehicle. The JDAM is away. We're going to come off to the left. So what happened there is that the aircraft system doesn't know exactly where the target itself is. All it knows is the angle that the targeting pod is pointing and then the point on the ground where it intersects. The gate 10 has a digital elevation model built into the avionics. So it's just creating that mark point on the ground at the point where the pod is pointing. So what I need to do is tell the system exactly where the target is and I can do that by firing the laser and getting a good range fed into the avionics so that it's going to drop the bomb on that point. And now I'm going to set back up again and I'm going to do one more configuration item here just to make this a little bit easier to fire the laser and to get that guidance a little bit more accurate. I'm going to hit control. I'm going to go to latch on so that now when I manually laser the target and I'm going to do that using the button over here on the back of the stick. That's the same button that you would use to disengage and engage the those little steering. Now, whenever I press that button, the laser is going to fire, and then I press it again for the laser to stop firing. So let me go to narrow field of view. We'll do this one more time. I'll zoom in so that we can see. I'll actually hit return and then zoom in so that we can do the same thing. Now, before I was looking about right there. So we saw that that's actually looking through the vehicle and is going to create that mark point out there on the ground beyond it. What I need to do is laze. I'm going to depress that button. You can see that the L is firing. Now I'm going to go TMS right short. That's going to create another mark point and I'm going to cease lasing. So let's go ahead and select mark point Bravo. Now mark point Bravo, this is the one that we just created, is our current steer point. Steer point is still the sensor point of interest, so the bomb is going to guide on that point. Now, let me go ahead and take it out of autopilot. I'll just pop up right here and release this bomb. We should get a lot better result this time. Okay, so coming around, I'm just going to roll out right here, climbed up to about 7,000 feet again, and release the weapon. And then I'll just come off right this time. We'll watch this bomb as it goes in. It's going to be a lot closer than that first one because the guidance and the target is closer to the point where I actually want this thing to impact. And there we go. That's a pretty good hit. 
And now here at the end of the video, I still have a couple of weapons left, so what I'll do is just pick up a couple more JDAMs. I'm actually going to do probably next uh, a tutorial on multiple JDAM deliveries on one pass. I know I've done that in the past, I don't think I've ever done a tutorial. So I've got this first target, I'm going to have to come around so that I no longer have the M. My pod was masked, now I'll laze it, create a mark point that'll be marked Charlie, cease lazing. Now let me find one more vehicle out here, and I'll pick off my last two JDAMs. Okay, there we go. There's a good candidate. So let's go ahead and laze this target. Mark point, that'll be mark point delta. Cease lazing. Now if I come up here, what I need to do is go to mark point Charlie. This is that first vehicle. Then if I come up to mark point delta, there's the second vehicle. And you can see that the steer point is the sensor point of interest. So if I up to the next steer point it's just going to cycle back and forth so what i want to do here is release one bomb on the first mark point the second bomb on the second mark point so this is going to be coming up let me go ahead and set up on this and i'll be right back okay so approaching release on mark charlie and i'm going to pickle first bombs off i'm going to step up to mark delta pickle second bombs off and now these are fire and forget weapons i can do whatever i want to from here and i'm just going to come off to the left and then I have the Mark Point Delta target there in the pot, and we'll just watch these go in. Okay, so two good hits, and that's it for this edition, covering tweaking the guidance for your JDAMs using that laser rangefinder. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.